Welcome back to the channel, guys. So this is my third and final attempt at a suede dash. So let's see how it goes. With me as always, that Billy. What's up, buddy? All right, well, let's get this done. I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so what I got is this suede vinyl wrap. Let's see how well that goes on, man. I got Jesus. Hooking it up. So I think what we're gonna do is just gonna cut it straight in half. And then I have the airbag piece right there. So I think we're gonna start with the airbag piece first and uh, see how well this material lays. And if the adhesive that is with this is not enough, then I do have a spray adhesive that I will just use on to, to put this in. But like I said, if this doesn't work out, I think I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to throw this dash away and uh, leave it how it was. Dash that I got from that parts car, I just cut the wire harness right off. So what we're going to do is get all the harness pulled out and then we could clean it up and start wrapping. So all the plastic from the dash down, I'm actually not going to wrap. Uh, I'm just going to try to get whatever this felt this or whatever this is i'm gonna just try to wrap that top part and the same thing where where the vents are i'm probably gonna leave those unwrapped as well but see how it goes i'll get back to you guys after i get this harness pulled out of here and when we start wrapping all right so we got the harness completely pulled out of it now we're gonna start wiping it down and i'm not quite sure what i have to clean it with. i might end up just using that rubbing alcohol <laughs> Just a quick update for you guys. So we pretty much got the top part almost done. And uh, yeah, these vents are falling in pretty well. So I'm not quite really liking how this is looking against the suede. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe uh, you know, paint it black, a gloss black or something. And uh, something here, it tore a little bit in the corners while we were tucking it. And also stretched uh, or stretched the material, but we'll finish up the bottom half. Yes. All right, here it is. So there's a couple of blemishes here and there, like around this area where that kind of got split while we were trying to stretch this here, and then uh, I think there's a couple more spots right here. Yeah, we messed up right there, and that kind of tore. But other than that, everything else came out pretty well. Once I put all the plexi pieces and the sensors back in or the switches back in, I think it came out pretty nice. So if you guys want this done, give me a call. I charge $1,000 per dash. And because uh, I got I to pay Jesus, he's worth about $800 of that. But... We're gonna go ahead and get this put in the car and see how it looks. So hopefully we get the car running pretty soon. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, that's pretty much it for the dash. I'm glad I figured something out. Um, yeah, I spent 
probably close to like a hundred dollars on the flocking kit um same thing with like another 30 or 40 dollars on the suede uh wrap and then a few other materials that we tried that didn't work out with the flock so i'm about 150 into this dash including buying it was another 50 so i wish uh, i would have just done this from the get-go right off the bat but you know, it cost me $200 to figure this out. So you guys could get it done in probably like 40 or 50 bucks now. See you guys in the next video. So like, share, subscribe. We'll do that $100 giveaway at 250 subscribers, which we are very close to. So I'll see you guys in the next one.